Welcome back to the channel lads and ladies and this video goes out to Lima Victor from both War Thunder and the Discord. Right off the bat I want to say that I've enjoyed hanging out with you and seeing what you bring to the Thunder Zone. So Lima Victor, it's been a pleasure knowing you. It's okay, he hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> it's just that he sent me a replay at my request he was talking about the tank assault game mode and it's been quite a while since I featured this game mode on the channel so here we are Lima Victor sent me a replay but the War Thunder replay system doesn't like some of the game modes and I think tank assault is one of those game modes where the replay system doesn't work properly it uh, tends to crash War Thunder. <laughs> I'm thinking what happens is it's a memory overflow where the the game just doesn't know what to do with itself basically. It hasn't been programmed how to deal with the size and complexity and certain aspects of what you find in the replay of a tank assault game. That's kind of interesting that that round didn't go through. <laughs> I should have upwards of 100 millimeters of penetration on this cannon, but overall my immediate first impressions of the tank assault game mode, having come back to it now after a few months, is that as they mentioned in some of the update logs, the damage model for these enemy tanks that you shoot at has been improved and if you're looking for sort of a shooting gallery mode to play uh, just like the old-fashioned shooting galleries where you'd plink away at you know ducks or uh, invading engines or whatever hey not making any judgments that's what you had to shoot at <laughs> they even used to have real guns for those shooting galleries not BB guns but but uh, pump action 22s were common they're called gallery guns and I would love to get a gallery gun for myself I, I'm a huge fan of pump action rifles I think they're really cool uh, they're just a neat way to chamber around and how cute to have a pump action 22 but I kind of digress with that conversation here we are in tank assault game mode and you can see that the tanks that have fairly powerful cannons are reasonably popular but armor is also important as well and that is where the Ram Mark II comes in. It has a decent gun most of the time but it makes up what it lacks in stopping power with fire rate out of its 57 millimeter cannon at longer ranges it's not the most deadly vehicle but you can cripple and um, stop the movement of these enemy AI and that is almost as important as taking them down and eventually you can whittle away at the enemy. The best aspect of the ram in tank assault mode is that it has a 3.7 BR which puts it at the top of its tier for tank assault and it has decent armor, especially for a medium tank, to the extent that when the enemy does close within firing range, and you're going to see this eventually in the video, uh, they really just all start opening up on you at once. Some enemies firing on the move, some enemies stopping to fire accurately, uh, but these AI, they really focus in on you and your allies, so that massive massive wave tactic that they always use in tank assault which I think is one of the downsides to this game mode is just the sheer numbers of enemies that you face but uh, pick the right tank to deal with it and the world is your burrito of course this is my first match in tank assault arcade in a long long time so I'm not going to be the most skilled however Judging from the furtive humping I'm getting from the back of my vehicle by that Panzer III, I'm not the least skilled player in this match. <laughs> but Tank Assault is a fun game mode to jump into every now and then. It's nice to see people are actually playing it. I only had to wait about five minutes to get into a match. I know. 
Uh, that seems kind of ridiculous, but trust me, I, it gets worse. It definitely could be worse. Kind of disappointed that round didn't take out the ammo rack of that enemy. Uh, what is that? A Chiri 2, I think? Something along those lines. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Chihakai? I, I, I can't remember. I'm thinking Chiri 2. Anyway, a little bit of facing myself here, and that's kind of interesting. I don't know exactly how the enemy tanks are factored, but I saw a lot of Ram Mark II on the enemy AI team, and honestly I would prefer not to. I don't think that it's really fair to have the AI spam premium vehicles against us, um, just on account of players would be less familiar with how to take them down and, and stuff like that, but whatever, you know, it is what it is, the Ram Mark II. A fantastic medium tank but you see very capable of penetrating itself its side armor on the upper sides of the hull is fairly thick allowing you to angle a bit your frontal armor is not bad at all especially compared with other vehicles at your battle rating and overall as I mentioned it's a good tank for assault arcade looking upon the field of battle we see besides waves of enemy tanks the uh, the Sherman, a very difficult tank to take down as well. Not sure what happened to that shot, but we'll be a bit aggressive here and try and flank. Enemies are shooting us from the side, so we turn to face them. And we actually have a chance here to get some side shots on the enemy. Now, unfortunately, this is one of the, one of the downsides I'll mention about tank assault game mode as we just sort of ramble our way through the action is that as soon as you approach to a certain range of the enemy tanks they're all aware of you so it's difficult to get into a good flanking position on top of that if you're flanking one side of the map it's difficult to defend the center of the map which is the primary goal of the game mode so it behooves you to set yourself up in the middle of the map to defend that central zone you can see that square in the middle the enemies will park around that square and cause you to lose the match if they're able to park there for long enough. So we take some hits here and it's time to jump out of this useless vehicle. We have unlimited respawns in, in this game mode so it behooves us to jump into something useful as quickly as we can and I'm just kind of, you can see here, thinking about what to do next. The M10, a fantastic platform at this battle rating for long range engagements very capable of one shotting enemies unlike the ram mark ii that you saw us in earlier decent armor from long range should provide a decent firing platform for this game mode if i can get on target and if the enemy doesn't get those lucky bounces <laughs> that was like the one spot we couldn't pen and of course that shot into the transmission isn't going to do a whole lot for us but can we finish our target well not before our ally does now this would be a fantastic game mode to play in a squad of four or a squadron battle and just go out and derp around for a while you're not going to get a ton of rp you're not going to get a huge amount of silver lions but for your first victory well for your first match of the day you get a booster, so your time's not totally wasted. But this is sort of one of those things you can do to blow off steam. Uh, the downside is there are still some frustrating aspects to this game mode, especially if you're not in a group of players. But I'd love to do this for a live stream or something, if I ever get a chance to live stream. Uh, but lately, since we're on that topic, I really really miss live streaming with you guys I think that's one of the best ways to connect with the community and each one of you guys is just I've always had a good time when I live stream especially when I'm able to squat up and just screw around with you guys those are some of my favorite videos because it's not just me talking into a mic as much admittedly as I love that as well <laughs> and getting attacked from the rear by this wave of enemy tanks they all start firing at once and they really overwhelm you quickly so we have to respawn again thinking about why don't we take out the t18 e2 boarhound a complete monster at 3.0 against human players but you're gonna see the issue 
So because all of the AI start shooting at you automatically, I'm thinking we'll use a bit of mobility here and try and avoid getting hit and we're already taking hits. You can see as soon as the AI starts shooting at us, uh, they just immediately laser in on you uh, and that is sort of the issue with Gaijin's AI. Uh, they can't, I mean look, that Sherman was firing on the move and he's just completely laser accurate. He hits exactly where he wants to on a moving target and that's the problem with Gaijin's AI model in general. It doesn't feel like you're facing enemy players. It feels like you're facing robots with their computer brains and their perfect aim. Few games have really gotten their AI enemies balanced well and War Thunder is definitely not one of those games. At this point I'm kind of wishing I was in the <laughs> uh, M10 to be able to take down these Shermans but I know that as soon as I get targeted by someone when I'm in the M10 I am going to get wrecked so we need to find weak spots in the turret and hull of these M4s and that's easier said than done with the cannon on the Ram Mark II. Searching around here for some easier weak spots I know there's a few on the hull uh, but those are really difficult to aim for so looking for something better and you can see the post pen effect on these hold weak spot shots is just not the best when you're using smaller caliber solid shots so maybe just maybe I'm not in the best vehicle for the job right now <laughs> but anyway we do eventually pick up a kill and you can see that we did survive a hit there even a second one that goes into our transmission causing no serious damage to our tank and because this is arcade causing no serious damage whatsoever as that hit to our transmission is not going to completely immobilize us. So this is Tank Assault Arcade. Uh, the big thing that I wanted to mention is that Lima Victor got me interested in this one and I absolutely had a blast playing this game mode. I am going to play some more of this into the future. Uh, I'd love to do a more live streaming because this would be absolutely a blast to play live with a group of guys. And the reason uh, that I am not able to live stream so much anymore is just because I have a baby that, uh, that needs my attention quite a bit on top of uh, the tank toddler who is so precious and also comes and demands my time. And that's all well and good. You know, I could take care of the girls and also live stream. Uh, but I just don't want to have all that noise going on in the background and when my girls need me I do want to be available uh, so I don't want to have to choose between um, my stream and my girls so I am looking for the next chance to live stream but it might be a while and that's just the way things are going to have to be unfortunately because we're experimenting here we try flying out in a bomber uh, unfortunately we get kind of a turd <laughs> this is a Japanese it, it looks like a heavy bomber but it just carries one bomb I think this is either a 500 or an 800 kilo bomb and because this is an arcade it's gonna be a while before that bomb is able to explode the AI not sure how they'll respond to myself in this aircraft and I really don't feel like I'm providing as much of a benefit to my team as I would on the ground keeping that gun hot. But we're here to experiment and experiment we shall. Look at the handling <laughs> of this bomber in arcade. And we do have time to reload the bomb before as you can see our timer going down just two seconds and we managed to get one off again. So with a couple of bomb drops if we rolled the dice a little bit better and got a bit more useful bomber that could be more effective in fact it has been especially at higher battle ratings more effective to jump into a bomber and attack some ground targets but not so much this time I'd be interested to see how some of the quick firing uh, fast killing tanks would do I'm, I need to look again at the tank assault game mode and see how the BRs are broken down 
to see what lineups would be the most effective. If I can bring my 5-7 lineup, I might bring the VFW. That could be a lot of fun, depending upon how the AI prioritizes uh, hitting targets, the VFW could have decent survivability even though it has no armor and you can see we ended up losing that match. But there's definitely more to see in the tank assault game mode and there have been some major improvements over the uh, the months that the game mode has been out. Gaijin has not completely abandoned it and it is still fun for blowing off some steam. and playing some of your favorite vehicles in maybe a little bit more laid back and ridiculous way. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that video and I'm looking forward to hosting more of your replays. I'm working on those videos now. I have a few recorded and I just gotta find some time to do some commentary. Catch you guys in the next video and definitely if you're new here, come and join the Discord. Link in the description below. Bye bye